The Urenverein, English, Uranium Club, was the name given to the project in Germany to research nuclear technology, including nuclear weapons and nuclear reactors, during World War II. It went through several phases of work, but in the words of historian Mark Walker, it was ultimately frozen at the laboratory level with the modest goal to build a nuclear reactor which could sustain a nuclear fission chain reaction for a significant amount of time and to achieve the complete separation of at least tiny amount of the uranium isotopes. The scholarly consensus is that it failed to achieve these goals, and that despite fears at the time, the Germans had never been close to producing nuclear weapons. The first effort started in April 1939 just months after the discovery of nuclear fission in December 1938, but ended only months later shortly ahead of the German invasion of Poland, when many notable physicists were drafted into the Wehrmacht. A second effort began under the administrative purview of the Wehrmacht's Heereswaffenamt on September 1, 1939, the day of the invasion of Poland. The program eventually expanded into three main efforts, the Uran machine, nuclear reactor, uranium and heavy water production, and uranium isotope separation. Eventually, it was assessed that nuclear fission would not contribute significantly to ending the war, and in January 1942, the Heereswaffenamt turned the program over to the Reich Research Council, Reichsforschungsrat, while continuing to fund the program. The program was split up among nine major institutes where the directors dominated the research and set their own objectives. Subsequently, the number of scientists working on applied nuclear fission began to diminish, with many applying their talents to more pressing wartime demands. The most influential people in the Urenverein were Kurt Daimler, Abraham Esau, Walter Gerlach, and Eric Schumann. Schumann was one of the most powerful and influential physicists in Germany. Daimler, throughout the life of the nuclear weapon project, had more control over nuclear fission research than did Walter both. Klaus Clusius, Otto Hahn, Paul Hartek, or Werner Heisenberg. Abraham Esau was appointed as Reichsmarshal Hermann Goering's plenipotentiary for nuclear physics research in December 1942, Walter Gerlach succeeded him in December 1943. Politicization of the German academia under the Nazi regime had driven many physicists, engineers, and mathematicians out of Germany as early as 1933. Those of Jewish heritage who did not leave were quickly purged from German institutions, further thinning the ranks of academia. The politicization of the universities, along with the demands for manpower by the German armed forces, many scientists and technical personnel were conscripted, despite possessing technical. At the end of the war, the Allied powers competed to obtain surviving components of the nuclear industry, personnel, facilities, and materiel as they did with the pioneering V2 SRBM program.